Good day everyone, this is mission 10 of Sniper Elite 5 and what we're doing is we're going to take Hitler out by blowing up his package. No, not that kind of package, dirty minded people. His package from the mail room, you know, the one that gets delivered and might be a parcel or something special like that. But yeah, we're going to booby trap that and take him out that way. So he's just returning back in the staff car from the tea house. You can see pulling up in the driveway and it uh, looks as though he's going to drive through this motorcycle yet again. So it's going to be very similar to the last video I did where we took Hitler out by booby trapping the bowling pin. Uh, pretty much going to walk the same path. But we're going to change a few things here and there. But as you can see, Hitler's now gotten out of the car and going to make his way into the main building. Okay, so we've got a few things to do to repair beforehand. So let's get on to that. Now, Normally when we go down the stairs here, there's a soldier that we always take up with a pistol. Uh, poor guy, always seems to die that way. But we might change it up a bit this time. So, as we go down here, and instead of using the pistol, we're gonna throw a bottle and distract him. And while he's looking the other way, we're gonna get up close and shoot him. No, we're not. We're gonna stab him in the back. And then we're just going to dispose of his body in this box. Got to do it quickly before Hitler comes through that door on the right. Okay, so oh, there he is. I can just see his shadow now. So as usual, Hitler will walk over to the left and go into this other uh, room, which is the main room of the building. I have a fireplace, the piano. Uh, dining table as well but while he's there we're gonna head downstairs to the basement and prepare for the, the entertainment ahead anyway so just changing over the subsonic ammunition and there's uh, two guards or two soldiers patrolling this area oh and there's one directly in front of us there now I'm gonna try something a bit tricky I'm gonna try to take down two enemies quickly so um, this first guy will keep walking. Now the other guy is on the left a bit in the small room. Oh, a nice quick double kill. Shot the first guy and then use the knife to take out the second guy. Now we're going to dispose of the bodies or we'll hide their bodies in the box. Don't want them to be spotted when the guards come down here. Okay, so, and there, we picked up the armory key. So, to actually booby trap uh, the package, you're going to need a grenade. If you don't have a grenade on you, that's probably fine, because now with the armory key, we can go and open up uh, the armory and pick up what we need. So, heading back to where we came into the basement, and here's the armory. Unlock the door, and then inside, there's a whole treasure trove of items you can choose from. And this is also where the workbench is. So there's a submachine gun there, telemine, pistol, a decoy, there's the workbench. Uh, grenades, we've already got enough grenades, so I can't grab those. TNT, might as well for a hell of it. Uh, shoe mines, uh, there's a supply pouch. But uh, yeah, a lot of things to pick up here, so definitely handy if you need to do so. So as you can see, there's the bowling alley on the left. Uh, we used that last time to take Hitler out. But uh, if you continue here through this hallway, and towards the end of the building, on the right is the mailroom. And there you can see the package on the package table or the, the desk. It'll already have been checked so you can see sure it's a it's rectangular safe. one in shape. Easy enough to make it unsafe. But if we change it, we change it to a... Oh, yeah, as you can see it's a grenade. It. Um, now it's a maybe it's a torchlight, who knows. Anyway, all that said and done, now you pretty much set it up. Uh, if you wanted to, you can go and hide and wait for the action to happen, but that takes a long time. Um, don't worry, we're going to fast forward through, the, through, some, through some parts here. But uh, yeah, we're going to head back upstairs to where Hitler is and then just keep an eye on things. And then we'll follow them around where it goes. Because remember like last time, he heads over to the library to read a book and he goes upstairs to his office to do some paperwork, I'm assuming. And then finally he comes back down to the basement, uh, past the bowling alley, and towards the mail room. Okay, so you can see from the subtitles, we can use that to kind of gauge where Hitler's located. At the moment, he's uh, about to head over to the library. Now, 
while we're waiting for that to happen, you can see through here there's a soldier on the right and a soldier on the left. These two guys will actually follow Hitler uh, around after when he walks by here. He'll come through this way. Now, if you want to make things a bit easier, you can always take these two guys out uh, beforehand, so therefore they don't cause any trouble or any potential trouble when you're following Hitler around later on. But uh, we'll take care of that a bit later, as you'll see. I'm just waiting for Hitler to walk past in the background. There he is. Okay, he's heading on to the library. So we're just going to fast forward this part here. So Hitler's in the library. He's going to read a book. And then he's going to come back out here and walk past these two soldiers. And then we're going to make our way upstairs. Just got to be careful we don't get spotted by any of them. Now we're going to hide around this uh, corner here. And when Hitler walks past on the other side, he stares at a painting for a bit. And then he heads over to his office. Okay, so I'm just going to stand here for a bit. This does take a bit of time. Hitler's doing some paperwork. He then heads over to the balcony, looks out to the views of the mountain, I'm assuming, and then decides, you know what? I think I had enough of the day. Time to go bowling. So when he comes out, we're going to actually follow them this time. In the previous video, we actually walked in front of them, but uh, this time we're actually going to follow them. So Hitler walks down first. Now his soldiers actually a bit of a way behind him, so it might take some time for them to appear. Okay, there they are. Okay, so we'll follow them. Now, it's strange that I've noticed that these two soldiers seem to have trouble walking normally, like they might overlap one another, they bump into each other or even walk through each other. Um, yeah, so I don't know if that causes a problem with them like lagging behind Hitler or not, because they kind of like pause for a brief moment now and then. See like there. But uh, yeah, we're going to follow these guys downstairs into the basement where Hitler's going to go and do some bowling. And then after that, as I said, he'll go to the mail room and check out his package, his Postal package, fellas. Okay, so we'll um, sneak behind these guys. Kind of strange. I would have thought maybe they turn around to, you know, be proper soldiers at bodyguards, but uh, oh well, I guess not. So yeah, these guys seem to have trouble maneuvering or walking. Okay, so at this point, they'll actually just stare and Watch Hitler throw a bowling pit ball. Now I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Can't remember, but I think he scores eight pins or something like that. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do here is that these two soldiers can pose a bit of a problem later on, like after the grenade takes out Hitler. So we're going to take them out first. Uh, I'm going to sneak up to the guy on the left, and just as he moves. Quietly dispatch him and his friend, or so called friend, because he didn't notice anything, just seems to be totally blank of uh, what happened just there. So, we're taking care, or we're taking care of the first soldier. I'm gonna follow the second soldier. See, they'll be having a bit of a word with uh, Hitler now and then. Okie dokie. Now, as you can see through here, Hitler's actually under, at the bar having a drink. Um, if you really wanted to, that drink there, you can actually poison it. Um, just got to find the poison, which is uh, somewhere else in the building. But uh, yeah, we're not doing that this time. So Hitler walks off, going to the mirror room. And this final soldier is still following behind him. Now he is lagging behind him quite a bit. Um, uh, don't know if that's by design or not, but either way, once Hitler is pretty much out of sight and out of earshot, we're going to take care of this guy. Okay, now we're going to follow Hitler and uh, see what happens. So even if you don't get close to Hitler, yeah, you will get a cutscene. But uh, I thought, you know, might as well get close enough to see uh, exactly what happens or how it all takes place. Oh. 
Hmm, is that that torchlight that I ordered? Uh, nope. First class delivery. Straight to hell. And done. Okay, so... Um, now we can just head off and uh, play some bowling ourselves. <laughs>